Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. Have you ever felt like the content you create with AI sounds like something that was written by a robot? You wish that you could make it actually sound like something you wrote? Well, in the age of AI, where tons of people are using it to create content, the ability to sound unique and human is more important than ever, but it is actually possible to train AI to sound a lot more like you and a lot less like a robot. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can train Mem to write in your unique voice. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can train Mem's Smart Write and Edit feature to actually write more in your voice. Now, one thing that is really important to note here is that the more content that you have in here that has been written in your own voice, the better this is going to be. And because the thing is that if you really want it to not sound like AI has written it, then you have to actually create content that AI didn't write. And the more that you capture, the more you're going to be able to use this content. That's why I think the value of something like taking smart notes is more enhanced when we're talking about AI tools like Mem Smart Write and Edit or even MemChat. So let's go through the various steps for how you do this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is import all of your writing that you've done. Now, if you have a blog, there are a couple of different things you can do. Chrome has some extensions that allow you to download the blog posts in markdown format and you can save them to a folder. And then if you want, you can go here and then you just go into imports and wherever you have stored those files, whether it's in a Dropbox folder or on your hard drive, you can then import those files into MEM and they'll come in as markdown files so they'll work with the format. One thing to note, this is something I caught when I imported about 100 blog posts, was that the titles didn't come in when I imported them. And so I had to manually go through and put titles into them as well. The other option, if you wanted to do it, is to set it up with a zap where you can basically say anytime there's a new file in a particular folder, you just bring it in using that. But I ran into some issues with that, mainly because the length of my content was a bit too long. So once you've imported your writing, which is the easiest part, what you really wanna do is organize it in a way of some sort. And what I found was that the easiest way to organize this specifically for when you want to use MemChat is to put it into a couple of different collections. And it really doesn't matter how large the collection is. In fact, the larger the collection is, the better this is going to work. I created two collections. The first thing I did was I created one called Imported Blogs. And these are all the various blog posts that I have published on the Unmistakable Creative blog. And believe it or not, it was MemChat that actually gave me this idea to import all of this content so I could train SmartWrite to sound more like me. And then of course, I wanted to get my manuscripts from my traditionally published books in here as well. And so I ended up putting the entire manuscript for my book, Audience of One, in here. So that way I'm giving the AI a ton of information to work with. AI is based on mainly two things, which are data and human input. And in the case of somebody like a content creator, that data is the content that you have created. And the more that you have in here, as I've said already a few times throughout this video, the better this is going to work. So once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to MemChat and you're going to actually put a prompt similar to this, say based on the content in my imported blogs and traditionally published collections, describe my writing voice in a way that I can use to apply to the content that SmartWrite dra Smart right drafts for me. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually have it just go through this. I've actually already created this draft of my note. So what I'm gonna do here is just say, let me have it do this just for the sake of an example so you can see how this works. And what SmartWrite will do, or what MemChat will then do is it will actually come up with a description of your writing voice. And so you can see here that it actually goes into here as well. And you can actually tell it if you want it to reference specific pieces of content. And what you could also say is, I want this to have headers, but you can see here that it actually notes what your preferred vocabulary is. It mentions what types of sentences, it talks about the style that you use and everything else. And what you'll do then is you will take this note that you've created or that MemChat has given you, and then you'll turn it into another note, which is going to be your writing voice note. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna pull that up here, 
And you'll see it when we do a search for Srinivas Rao's writing voice. And you can see here that mine is pretty detailed. I actually had it do a pretty extensive expansion on what you just saw from Memchat. I wanted it to be as detailed as possible. I like the fact that it had preferred vocabulary. I even had it reference one of my most popular posts, uh, which went viral, which was what we should have learned in school but never did, because I knew there was something about that post that really resonated with people. So I wanted to incorporate whatever ideas I had from that post. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have SmartWrite draft a couple of pieces of content for us. First, we're going to have it draft it the way that it normally would. And I'm just going to go ahead and have it write an outline for a blog post about the benefits of daily reflection. And you can see here that it's going to give me this output here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that just so you can see the contrast. And we're going to go ahead and just put that here. And now what I want to do is show you what happens when I tell it to apply my writing voice. So let's look at the difference. And so I've told it to apply Srinivas Rao's writing voice, and I want to show you the difference between the two. And so now I'm going to have it copy that, and you can see that it actually made quite a few changes just based on what I said about the way that I write. Now, obviously all of this isn't exactly perfect, but it sounds a lot more like me than this does. And let's do a couple more examples here. I'm gonna have it also create a newsletter introduction for one of our recent podcast interviews. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna apply my writing voice to it. And so we're gonna take that, we're going to paste it here so we can see the contrast again, and then I'm going to tell it to apply my writing voice. So again, is it perfect? No. Does it sound a lot more like me? Absolutely. And there are definitely certain things in here that I wouldn't say. So for example, I wouldn't say embark on a journey of unexpected transformative wisdom, but I would say something like, this isn't an everyday explore, or this isn't a everyday chit chat. And we'll do a couple more things here and I'll show you two more examples of how this works. So let's take this one right here and do the same thing. And we're going to have it just write a social media post that promotes our latest interview. And so I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy it, and then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to delete that, and now what I'm going to do is say apply Srinivas's writing voice. And again, we're basically just taking this, but you can see it's actually gotten a, a, a pretty long social media post because we didn't specify that we wanted it to be for Twitter or anything else. We could actually use this as an Instagram post, for example, because it's long enough. But let's look at the difference again. And you can see here that just based on whatever I have inside of that writing voice post, it actually is making changes based on that. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this works well when you have a lot of content. It may not necessarily work if you don't have a ton of content. Now let's look at one last piece of content and see the contrast. So I'm going to have it draft the opening lines for a video script on workflow optimization. And then I'm going to have it apply my writing voice again. Okay, so this is pretty long. So what I'm going to do is just apply my writing voice to this first part. And you can see here that it definitely made some changes. Let's do this. Let's actually see the contrast again. And you can see it actually made this uh, a bit shorter. 
in terms of how it made it, which is probably what I would do as well in terms of my video. So chances are it's probably basing this also on my transcripts. So let's go back to the top and just go through the steps to recap how you do this. The first and most important part of this obviously is going to be to import as much of your writing as you can. The next piece is to organize it using collections, depending on how you want to organize that. I just called them imported blogs and traditionally published because I already had a lot of other blog posts that I've written in here. And then what you're gonna do is have MemChat write a detailed description of your voice. You're gonna create a mem titled My Writing Voice. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to basically tell smart to apply your writing voice. Now, the reason I did it this way was to show you the contrast between the standard smart and edit output and what happens when I apply my writing voice, but you don't actually need to do that. Going forward, all you just have to apply your writing voice to anything you write, and the output that you get from smart write and edit will sound a lot less like it was written by AI and a lot more like it was written by you. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.